What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing Ice Fighter Calyrex alongside with Lorantis. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any single time, make sure you leave a like on the video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, only take a second of your guys' time to support me as a content creator. But getting started on this team is the one and only Ice Rider Calyrex. This Pokemon is so good and has been dominant in the meta ever since it's been released into it. It has as one ability, so it gets Unnerve and Chilling Nay. So every time we get a kill, we're going to get an attack boost. All awesome small around makes this Pokemon even more strong. Weakness policy as an item, and then this move set of Glacial Lance for stab, high horsepower for coverage, protect, and trick room. Right next to him is a Pokemon I never really use, and that is Lorantis over here. It has a contrary ability, so any stats that usually decrease him will switch to increase, and anything that will increase him will switch to decreasing. It is awesome, especially when we use Superpower, so instead of getting the stat decreases, we're going to get stat increases every time we use that move. We have the Oka Berry, so fire damage will do less, and then we got Leaf Blade for stab, Night Slash for coverage, and protect as his final move. Middle left is going to be Incineroar. I'm done with that one. That's all I need to say. It's Incineroar. You guys already know the move set. You guys already know the ability and the item as well. Just it's the same thing every single time. It's great. It works amazing. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Mimikyu is right next to him with this guy's ability, Mental Herb, so he can't really be taunted. Play rough, Shadow Sneak, Protect, and Trick Room. A fairly normal move set for Mimikyu that works out so well in ranked double battles. Bottom left, we got Regilecki, Transistor ability, Magnet as his item, and then Thunderbolt will switch E Web Protect. We didn't even need to talk about that one. And then final Pokemon is going to be Tapu Fini. But this Tapu Fini is Choice Spec. Gotta love the Choice Spec Tapu Fini. Always love it. Always love Choice Spec or Choice Band Pokemon. I don't know why. They just do so much more damage and are very fun to play with. Dazzling Gleam, Muddy Water, Scald, and Moonblast, all stab, hard hitting, special attacking moves. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and look to get some wins with this Ice Rider Calyrex and Lorantis team. Hopping into our first battle, and it is a brand new season. I haven't played this game since September start, so it's a new season for me. We haven't hopped onto that rank ladder yet. We've been playing Pokemon Unite, so if you guys haven't checked out any of my Pokemon Unite videos, definitely go check them out. And if you want to catch me live, I'm streaming multiple days a week as much as I can. Link is down in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. I would love to see you guys out there. But we're looking for our first win of the season. Looking to get started off really, really strong. We're going up against a Garatina team over here with Galarian Zapdos, Stakataka, Rillaboom, uh, Volcarona and then Grimmsnarl as his final Pokemon. So I could go for speed control early on here. He does have um, does have Stakataka who can definitely run a Trick Room. I want to see something quick. We're 57 speed, so I kind of want to bring you in here. I want to bring Calyrex. I might just want to go for like a, maybe a Fake Out or something like that, or Regilecki to get some speed decrease. He'll work out really, really well. But I might end up just going into him and then posing a big threat with Calyrex. I'm really liking that. I'm really, really liking that. So I'm going to bring in them too. Uh, I could bring in Tapu Fini in the back end. What does Jeans want to do here? Could bring in Lorantis. Lorantis wouldn't be bad. I kind of want him in here. It seems like he'd be a fun Pokemon to use. So I'm definitely going to bring in Lorantis in the back end. And then final Pokemon is either going to be... Hmm. Who do I want? I kind of want Incineroar here. I don't want Incineroar. Let's rock out with Incineroar. Bring him in in that, in that final spot and try to look for our first win for today's video. And for the new season. Because by the time we're recording this, it's September 3rd, which means I haven't played since September 1st. So we're back on the grind. We're getting after it. I uploaded two Pokemon Unite videos. Definitely go check them out. Pokemon Unite has been so much fun. We're showcasing Blastoise in my most recent Unite videos. Tons of fun. That Pokemon is probably the best in the game. So if you're looking for a strong Pokemon to use, definitely go check out that video and how to play them, how to build them up, and how to use his uh, moveset. But he's going to end up leading the Grimmy Poo and Garatina, which is totally fine by me. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around, because I can just drop a Glacial Lance if I really want to. I could E-Web. He could definitely fake me out. Ooh, with the fake out going on, I might just double protect here. I might just go for double protect. I think I'm just going for double protect, because he might swap. Let's see what he does. I doubt he's setting up a screen. I think he's going to go for a fake out on one of my Pokemon here. I think that's definitely the play. I'm just going to double protect. I could have read he was actually uh, faking out my uh, Talyrex and went into an attack move with my... Oh, he's gonna go for a sucker punch. Oh, yo, look at him. Go for a sucker punch. Holter guy's coming in here. Okay, we're cool with it. We're cool with it all day. I might do a hard swap. I might do a hard swap. We can just definitely go into an E web, slow them down a little bit. And, hmm. My hard swap. My hard swap into Incineroar here. I throw Chop Raider Roll. And with them slowed down, I'm just gonna hard swap you. That's totally fine with me. 
I'm cool with it. We're gonna save our uh, Shadow Rider or our Ash Rider Shadow for the back end. So we're just gonna get popping out here. Get my hard swap rolling here. Sucker Punch might come into the slot, which we'll miss again. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what his play is. We do have E Web getting ready to pop out. Sucker Punch comes through and it misses again. So wonderful. E Web's gonna be able to fly through here now. And. Yo! I I don't understand. How do you double miss an E Web? It's 95 accuracy. I have never seen that before. I have never seen that before. We're not even gonna go for a fake out here. But yo, who what, what is this game? How do you miss a double E Web? That's just unheard of. That is just unheard of. A double E Web miss. That is nutty. That is nutty. I got I, I understand the first one. I was like, okay, that's luck. But then you double with it? It's like, yo, that is crazy. That is nutty. Now, does he take my citrus berry here? But you like your voice sack. Okay, dude, what is going on here? Like all the moves are missing now? Or something like that? Is every single move missing right now? Is that the play? Is that the play? I think I'm gonna slow him down again. It's definitely gonna be my play. No parting shot out here. I can go for another third chop. Do I have my item anymore or does Polter guys take off my item? It does say I still have my citrus right. I'm just gonna go for another third chop here. Might as well. Keep teeing off, doing a little bit of damage. Keep my uh, strong Pokemon in the back end. Target punch gonna fly through here. That's totally fine. That's easy eats for your boy. E webs can come down here again. Slow him down, do a little bit more damage. And then I could parting shot potentially next turn. Let's just see how this one goes. Speed's dropping. Speed's dropping again. But yo, why did we miss our first one? That makes no sense. Just think, if I would have hit that one, this Garatina should should have been dead. The Poltergeist can come out here. Okay, I thought he missed again. I, I was stunned. I was stunned. But no, it's attacking on this magnet. But it's like he's going to go down. That's totally fine. We got some speed advance here. And now I might bring out my boy Calyrex. As these guys are minus two, I can potentially pick up a huge double kill. Do a little bit of damage over onto that, uh, that, what's it called? Onto that Grimstorm. Because they are minus two in speed. Could be minus three. But I think we still should be fine. So I'm going to go in here. Drop that. And then I might just, uh, hmm. My throw chop. The flare blitz. I might parting shot here. I think a Glacial Lance should be able to take him out. So I'm just going to Parting Shot. I'm going to do a Parting Shot just so I can have Incineroar in the back end. He's going to end up withdrawing you, which is totally fine by me. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. Sakataka is going to come out here, and he can drop a Trick Room if he wants to. Thunder Wave is going to fly. Oh, you Buttery Biscuit. You Buttery Biscuit. He's going to end up dropping a T-Wave. And watch, he's going to get the Lucky Paralyze on me. I swear. I swear. <laughs> parting Shot comes out here. We're just going to get the Swap real quick. And what are we going to do from here? What is Jeans going to do from here? And I have to go into my main man. My main man, Lorant, is coming out here. Gotta love this Pokemon. Pokemon's amazing all around. Hopefully, this Glacial Lance can take out that Grimstar so I can get that attack boost. That's really what I wanted the whole time. Here it comes. Take that thing out. Tell it to go home. It should be able to, I think. It should be able to, right? Get him out of here. Even with the Reflect Up. Yep. Gets him out the way with the Reflect Up. We get ourselves a nice, lovely attack boost, and we're going to get one into this battle. The chilling is popping. He's probably going to send back out Garatina. I can definitely see that happening. So I might protect my Calyrex at this point. I could try to get off a Trick Room, but that's a little tough news. Maybe if I get Incineroar out here later. But I definitely should protect the Calyrex here. And then, uh... If we go into a Nightshade, Super Power might be our best bet. Super Power, could, we could go into it, but I really want to take out this Garatina. And just get rid of it, so I am going to go after the Garatina. Nothing to go home. I just want to protect. Get my horse blocking. Get him blocking out here. Garatina is definitely going to target him down, right? If there's Poltergeist, block. Beautiful. All right, this you should outspeed now. Get rid of that Garatina. Tell it to go home. Get out of my face. We don't want it here. Go home. Get him out of here. So, <laughs> we're rolling pretty strong here. I, li I like where we're sitting in this battle. I still have Incineroar in the back end. He is going to drop a Rock Slide, but I think my, uh, I think my Calyrex does outspeed him. We know my Lorantis does. I can hit him up with a big super power. But we're sitting here plus one. He's going to send out his final Pokemon, which is going to be Rillaboom. Well, in that case, I might hard swap. I could hard swap. He could go for a fake out. He could go for a fake out. It could be weakness policy as well. Jeans wouldn't do here. I'm going to try to get off this. I'm going to do that, and I am just going to... 
I hard swap here. Hard swap Lorantis into Incineroar just to get that attack drop. We go from there. I'm with it. He's probably. Oh, we just canceled battle. I was gonna say he's probably gonna fake out, but there's battle number one. We start off a brand new season, one and zero. Not a bad start to the season. We're sitting in great bolt here, obviously, because it's the brand new season. 1-0. Gotta love it. But, guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. I forgot to ask it in battle number one. But what game are you more excited for? The Diamond and Pearl remakes or the new Legends Arceus? For me, it's obviously going to be the Legends Arceus. But I'm still a huge fan of the Diamond and Pearl remakes. So I cannot wait for both of those games. Definitely going to be grinding them out on stream and making tons of videos on YouTube for you guys. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a Zacian team. Looking pretty good. It's actually a Zacian Sun team with Cherim. Torkoal, Entei, all using the heat to their advantage. They also have Wimscott who can pop a sunny day. And Rillaboom in that back end. Definitely got to bring in my main man, Instant War. He's got to come out here. And that could be a choice spec. Why, why am I thinking that Torkoal is choice spec? I can definitely see it happening. But I think we have to pop a, a Trick Room early on in this battle. Hmm. But then who would I lead at that point? He could taunt. I would probably want to lead you. I would probably want to lead Mimikyu because he has that mental herb. I can definitely go in there, and I could protect the Ice Rider Calyrex right off the rip. Hmm. Where I really want to go into turn one. Probably Incineroar. Make sure I can get off that Trick Room. Bring Calyrex in the back end, and then final Pokemon. Could be Tapu Fini in the back. Tapu Fini isn't bad here. The Drought could be very, very annoying. Let's say bring in Lorantis if that's the case. Let's bring in Lorantis. He thrives in Trick Room, so... Let's get rocking out here. Let's finish up this one and get rolling in this battle. But only problem is going to be... Dude, if he does roll a Trick Room, then Torkoal could be really, really strong. That's, that's my problem here. If I roll a Trick Room, Torkoal can be really, really strong. Uh, I'm going to see who he leads first. I'm going to check out who he leads first. See, see what we can get going with this one. If he leads a Torkoal, then Trick Room might not even be a play. He's going to end up going into Torkoal. Okay. So, I could just fake it out, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to pop a Trick Room. I'm going to target that uh, Torkoal down, I think. Or do I even think that... I think the Torkoal might protect. I think the Torkoal might protect. So I might just fake it out and then get after that, uh... Get after that Entei. Right, because there's no point of popping a Trick Room right now. There's really no point of popping that thing. And that thing has an Eject Pack. Okay. Now we probably might want to pop a Trick Room. We potentially want to pop a Trick Room here. I wish I had a way of changing the weather. Yo, Eject Pack on the Torkoal? Ooh. Loving it, loving it. Probably gonna go in the Cherim, right? Is Cherim gonna be his play? Maybe, maybe not. It's gonna be Rillaboom. The Rillaboom can fake out. He can do a lot here. Um, hmm. That's huge, Joe. Oh. A Jack Pack with the Torkoal. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Definitely wanna fake him out. Uh, might just go into a Shadow Sneak, or just might wanna pop this Trick Room. Maybe wanna pop a Trick Room. I even want to pop Trick Room. Let me see these guys' speed. So let me see Mimikyu's speed. Mimikyu's rather fast, isn't he? He's 117. 82. And then we have the Slurs out. We definitely need a Trick Room, but at the same time, it's like, yo, Torkoal's such a threat. It's gonna be such a threat here. I'm definitely gonna pop a Trick Room. I think I might just oppose this player, but it's actually, let's just go for the fake out on you, because he might fake out on me. Let's see what gets popping here. Fake out comes out from my Incineroar. Bop. I wonder if he was going to go for a fake out. Going to end up going for a Sacred Fire. Mimikyu's this guy's going to pop. And more importantly, we are going to get off a Trick Room. That's my play. We might swap into the Torkoal. Might swap into the Torkoal. I think he's going to swap into the Torkoal overall into that roll room slot. But I might just parting shot onto it and double down into it. Right? Because he, he has to think like, oh, a Flare Blitz is coming in here. Right? That's gotta be his play, right? That's gotta 100% be his play. It could play rough. Good Shadow Sneak. I think, I'm, I think I'm going to double down in this slot with a parting shot and they uh, go for a throw chop. But let's go parting shot and play rough into that slot. Because again, I can see the Torkoal swap coming in here. No, he does not. He does not go for the Torkoal swap. They might be going for a knockoff. He might be taking out my Mimikyu here. But more importantly, we get off this parting shot and I can go into a Glacial Land section if I really want to. But I might not even do it. Because you know, I have high horsepower. I do have high horsepower. And I do not see him coming into my, uh... I do not see him coming into my Calyrex slot this, uh, this turn. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what his play is. 
I'm gonna go for a U-turn and he's gonna pivot out. So he's gonna 100% going to pivot out into the Torkoal. I saw that come. I saw the Torkoal coming in some way, but there's our weakness policy proc. And I really, really wish. Oh, I could protect and go into Incineroar. So I can have fake out next turn. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think this one through because Torkoal is definitely gonna outspeed me and Strike him. He's gotta be bringing back out Torkoal, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, there's Torkoal. We are hitting it up with a play rough. Getting after it. Bang, 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 bang. Chipping it up a little bit. We cannot let that thing get off a, <laughs> an eruption. Then it's just tough news. Sacred Fire is going to fly through here over into Mimikyu. Mimikyu is able to eat. He's able to eat here. And I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to think what could potentially be the play here. We have our weakness policy proc. It's definitely looking scary for us. He definitely wants to drop an eruption. And I think we just let the Mimikyu go down. Maybe Shadow Sneak here. Protect. Mm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do here? We definitely need an Incineroar, so I think we just let the Mimikyu go down. We drop a lovely little Shadow Sneak here. I'm trying to find a way out of this one. I'm trying to find a way out of this one, because this one's not looking too good for us. We have Lorantis in the back, who's not going to eat any of these fire moves up whatsoever. This comes out. We're definitely going for the Shadow Sneak. We got to get off some damage before we do fly out here. There's that. Chipping it up just a little bit, and Eruption coming down here. The Mim Mimikyu drops here. Let's go back out into Incineroar. Now, the real question is... The real question is... Do I see the Torkoal protecting? Do I have to hit a high horsepower here? And honestly, I can see the Torkoal protecting. Alright? Can't... Like, I can see this Torkoal protecting. 100%. And how many turns is left in a trick room? That's a real question. I'm, I think I might just fake out onto a Torkoal slot and high horsepower through onto the Entei slot. I'm kind of liking that. So how many turns is left in trick room? Two. Because I can use this turn for the fake out, take you out, and get a KO with his high horsepower if it connects. And then protect again and waste out trick room turn. And then maybe get after his Torkoal. So there's a protect coming out from the Torkoal. A nice little read by me there. We're gonna high horsepower over into the anti slot. Hopefully this can KO this thing. We need it to KO this thing. Come on, yo, we're plus two. Get this thing out of our face. Yes, sir. So big KO from us. I can definitely protect this next turn and roll off from there. Potentially parting shot onto the other Pokemon. Onto the other Pokemon. So we know Torkoal is gonna go uh, first before our Incineroar. So parting shot can work out perfectly because then the Lorantis can come out here and he won't die to the eruption. I'm really digging. I'm really, really digging this. I'm really, I, that was a good play by me. We're, tr we're slowly trying to pull ourselves out of this hole. Right now, we're on, we're on step like one or two out of like 105. <laughs> and oh no. Oh no, yo, Zassi's gonna come out here. That's definitely looking scary. Actually, we can, do I go for a parting shot here? I think I should parting shot. I could flare blitz. I think I'd rather parting shot, get that drop onto him. Just protect the Calyrex. Protecting the Calyrex, trying to waste out this trick room. That comes out here. If we can get off a parting shot, that could be big for us. That could be big for us. Yeah, this one plays out here. Zassi's going to end up protecting. And I guess he's just going to go for an eruption, right? Just a lovely little eruption. It's fine. Eruption comes out here. And Incineroar should be able to eat this one up just fine. Just dandy. Thank you very much. It's Tasty Snack. Parting shot is going to miss. That's tough news. Uh, What am I going to from here? Our sunlight does fade. But I do dig that. I do dig that a lot. Now, I wonder who he's going to go after. Torkoal could end up protecting. Do we see the Torkoal protecting? That's the real question. That is the real question. But now Zacian is fastest. Or not fastest. Yeah, Zacian is the fastest on the field. Then it should go in similar than Torkoal. Um, let me just Flare Blitz. Then we go into a high horsepower. That's going to be your player. We can get rid of this thing. Hopefully, none of them protects. He's going to end up withdrawing the Torkoal, which is totally fine. Hopefully, he goes into somebody who's not going to take this high horsepower too well. Roll boom. Yeah, he's going to take that high horsepower just fine. Just fine. He's going to do, like, no damage because it's a grassy surge. So, he's going to end up doing a hard swap there. He has uh, the grassy uh, glide ready to roll now. But he needs blades can come through here. And, and I don't like that. I think it's taking me out. Yo, this was a solid battle, though. It's a solid battle. Though. Eat this up somehow. Eat this up. Nope. Getting rid of him in one shot. No problem. Probably maybe should have hard swapped into Levantis, but dude, I had a plus three boost on him. 
and a plus three boost onto him. Flareblitz gonna fly through here, and it's not looking good for your boy. Flareblitz comes through. Dylan ooh, takes him out. Was that a crit? It was a crit, yo, dude. That pokey guy's like, Gene, we're gonna give you one more chance. Jeans, we're giving you one more chance here. We're gonna take a ridiculous amount of recoil damage, and Torkoal, it's gonna be Torkoal and Robloom as his final Pokemon. And Torkoal's gonna come back out here giving us a drought. So, with that said, with that said, we can get after him. We can get after him, because Flare Blitz will take out Robloom in one shot, no problem. But at the same time, that, that, that Torkoal's looking a little scary, right? He's looking a little scary, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Torkoal's looking a little scary. Okay, Jeans, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do here, Jeans? I think we have to pose that Flare Blitz, right? We go for a Night Slash. Hmm. Could protect Lorant this year. I'm trying to think what we could do. The power might be our play. How much damage are we really gonna do onto this little Lorantis? Protect this turn. I'm gonna protect my Lorantis this turn. Let's see how this one turns out here. Protect comes out from Lorantis. We know that like an eruption or something's coming in here. We need a flare to get out here. Fake out is here, out and about. And then here comes my berry. So that's a huge berry right there. That's a huge trigger of the berry. And we know that eruption's coming out, right? Heat wave. He's dropping a heat wave. We were able to block that one up and eat up a turn. Done with that all day. And I just don't see him taking out my Incineroar. I just don't see him taking out my Incineroar whatsoever. So we get off all that. And then I think we just Flare Blitz. Right? Do we Flare Blitz here? Or do we? He could protect. But we're going to go Flare Blitz into a superpower. That's our play here. Hopefully he doesn't protect. He has a chance of doing that. He's going to U-turn out here. And we should be able to eat that up, right? But there's an eat up there. U-turn is not going to pick up the KO. Flare Blitz is going to fly through here. We're going to say see you later to the Real Boom here. The Real Boom is definitely gone. Real Boom's out of my face. And it's going to come down to a 1v1 situation here after a superpower gets off here. And oh, yo, dude, the recoil damage, I ain't liking. I ain't liking that recoil damage. Superpower, give me a crit. Do something crazy. Get some big damage. Nope. Mm. It was a crit though. It was a crit, yo. We get the attack boost, but yeah, we need heat wave to miss or something like that. Yawn. Oh, yo, he's gonna yawn. He's gonna yawn and then he's gonna protect. He's gonna yawn and then he's gonna protect. So, what can I do from here? He's yawning and then he's protecting. So, he's definitely gonna protect this turn. I think what we could do here to maybe turn the tides. Yo, this Torkoal scare me, bro. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> It's just, I guess we just have to attack him, right? There's nothing we can do to, like, set up. We go for a superpower. My attack is boosted. He's 100% protecting, right? He does not protect. He might have just lost the match because of that. He does not protect. KO. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Mr. Heat Wave. Mr. Heat Wave. Eruption comes out. Who do you miss? Oh, no. We have our Oka Berry. Eruption's not going to kill. He's low health. We just won the game. We just won the game, baby, for his mistakes. I think if he would have went for a heat wave, there was potential KO chance there. Onto my Lorantis. And then what's called gonna go to sleep? Incineroar. But I just don't see him taking out my Incineroar really. No way he goes for an eruption. Does he know what eruption's based on his HP? It's based on his HP. Yeah, we'll take that all day. That's gonna be GG's. We're gonna start off the brand new season 2-0 with two canceled battles, which is amazing. Let's keep rolling here, ladies and gentlemen, sitting at 2-0 for the brand new season. Let's get a perfect record to get us going. I want to start off this season 3-0, which would be amazing. We're buzzing out pretty strong here. We dug ourselves a little hole in that last battle, but we made some nice moves in order to get back out of there and grab ourselves that big win. But third and final battle going up against, ooh, a Necrozma team? Yo, with Lorantis. So we got Lorantis squared right here alongside with Incineroar squared. We both have Incineroar. Then he has Indeedee, Araquanid, Sakataka, and Necrozma. Okay. I'm with it. He definitely wants to pop a trick room. Definitely wants to pop a trick room. I might lead the Calyrex. Calyrex could be solid here. Might want to lead the Calyrex. Go into top of Finny could be decent as well. Maybe for a lead. Just choice spec. Try to get off big damage. But who else could I see him leading? Maybe in Cinemore. I mean, if he does. Go Mimikyu. Go in Cinemore myself. Actually, since he does have Incineroar, he might go into that as a lead. So I might bring Calyrex in the back end. 
bring top of Finney as a lead and my incineroar also. I'm with that all day. Guild here and then Lorantis in the back end. I'm going to take that team. I'm going to take this team. We're going to get rocking out here. We're going to get rolling. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves that perfect record and start the season off 3-0. and oh. But, yo, Necrozma. Well, it's Dawnwing Necrozma, right? Yeah, it's Dawnwing Necrozma because it is the Lunala form or the Night form, whatever you want to call it. This Pokemon's cool. I definitely uh, I have a team ready to roll for this. And I might end up showing them off. So, if you guys want to see a Lunala team or Necrozma, Dawnwings, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Well, Dustwings, my fault. He's going to end up leading it. So, I can definitely see a Trick Room popping out here. Or turn one. I have fake out ready to roll, but I cannot use it. Cannot use a fake out because of the psychic terrain that's about to pop. And of course, his goes last. Yeah, I was hoping that the Misty Surge might be able to cancel that one out, but it's all good. It is all good. The Mace can come out here. And does he. Is he not Surgeon? Okay, he is. I was going to say. Why my Intimidate come out first? It's all good. So the Surge comes out, out and about. And I think I might just party shot turn one. I could totally put part and shot. Good muddy water. What do I want to choice into? That's the real question. Probably into a moon blast would probably be my best bet, right? If I get a special attack drop. I'm gonna go into the moon blast, and I think I'm just going to parting shot here. Good. Actually, just go for a third chop. So we go for a third chop. Let's do it instead. See what this fool is gonna do. Gonna end up going for a follow me, which is totally fine. If he wants to pop a trick room, like dude, I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with a trick room popping all day. Moon blast flies through. Yo, send that. Can we get a special attack drop? I would love it. No special attack drop, but I think Thorchop should be able to pick up the easy cannon, right? Yep, get that thing out my face. So that thing's gone. Get it out of there. Crit or not, it was still taken out. Yo, what is up with us in the crits today? We're getting some mean crits, which I'll take all day. Meteor Beam's gonna fly. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? He's dropping a big old Meteor Beam. Um, I kind of want him to take out Incineroar, but at the same time, like, no. He's definitely taking out whoever he's going after. It's got to be Incineroar, right? Because it's super effective. So he gets that uh, special attack boost. Incineroar. Dead. Knock. Get him out of my face. <laughs> Poor Incineroar. Yeah, why does Incineroar shiny look like Cat in the Hat? He has like the red and white stripes. <laughs> um, I could go you and I could potentially pop a trick room. Hmm. Is that what Jeans want to do here? Or I could go Lorantis. Ooh, Lorantis. I think I got to try to get off a trick room here. We're going to Calyrex. I'll try to pop off this trick room. It'll be lovely. It'll be a lovely little trick room. A lovely little trick room here. I can do it. It only depends who we're selling out here. We can go Araquanid. Hmm. I think trick room's definitely got to pop here. A nerve is out and about. No berries for anybody. If anyone's holding a berry, get him out of my face. Gotta drop a moon blast. So we go into Necrozma. And we go for a trick room. Let's pop it, baby. Let's pop it. Let's get it rolling. Wide guard can come through here. Nice. We ain't going for that Glacial Lance. Not yet. Not yet, buddy. Moonblast flying through. Can we get that special attack drop? Bring it back to normal. Would be huge for us. Would be huge for us. Give it to us. Nope. And a Moongeist Beam is going to fly through here. Not the Moongeist Beam, baby. Not the Moongeist Beam, yo. With plus one. Fucking scary. Not liking that. Not liking that. Not liking that whatsoever. Dumps on me. Dumps on me. Gotta bring out my boy Lamanthus. Can we clutch up? Can we clutch up? Maybe I should have just protected there. I probably should have just protected it and just uh, went from there. Knowing that he's going to outspeed me. We'll go for another Moon Blast here. We are choosing that. And I might just... I'm going to double down into you. I am going to double down into the Necrozma. And try to rock out from there. Our, our top of Finney's rolling strong here. Rolling strong early on here. Moon Blast flies through. Can we do him dirty? We should be able to take this thing out. No problem with this uh, Night Slash coming in. Yep, Night Slash outspeeds. And bang. We know that these guys are, are a little bit slower. But I want the trick room to show my Calyrex and outspeed. So there's that. You might go for a bug move here. Leech life, yeah. Don't like that. Don't like that. We're able to eat. We're able to eat. So we got another turn ready to rock for a Lorantis. And definitely a winnable battle. It's definitely a winnable battle here. Lorantis out and about. It's looking pretty strong here. I could go for just a superpower. Getting up on that thing. And I cannot choice to a one. But I would love to. I would love to right now. But we're going to actually have to go there. And then I think I'm just super powering. Could double up into that thing. Go for a Leaf Blade. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to double down to the Rack Wooden. See what we can do from there. Protect comes out from the Sakataka. Let's go. Let's go. A little double down action here. Moonblast flying through here. Can we pick up a KO with this Moonblast and combine with this uh, Leaf Blade? We got that going here. And we get a special attack drop. Even though it's 6 physical. 
Oh, good leafway. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Mmm. Mmm. So close. You're gonna leech life me. Let's gonna pick up KO. No problem. And yo, close battle here. Close, close battle. Close, close battle. I shouldn't have kept in my uh, Calyrex. I should not have done that. I should have probably protected him, knowing that a Moon Guys Beam is probably gonna come in. But I was really eager to get off that uh, that trick room. But this one's definitely gonna be over here. We are gonna go down to the Sakataka when it turns to a 1v1 situation. Raccoonin might even protect this turn. Yeah, Raccoonin does protect, but that's gonna be GG's. That's gonna be GG's, because I cannot choice to a different move right now. Cannot choice to a different move, but we should have totally had that battle. I feel like I just played that last one kind of stupid, but it's all good. We were able to go 2 and 1 for today's video, which is amazing. I'm actually just going to run this one. And we got off the season, started off pretty strong. Definitely should have got, got ourselves a win here. Definitely should have played this one smarter, in my opinion. But we're going to run here, give him that win because I cannot change my move. Uh, Moonblast is never going to take out the Sakataka. So 2 and 1 for today's video, and 2 and 1 to start off the season. Great set of battles for today's video. We showed off Ice Rider Calyx, who has always been good ever since he's been dropped into this uh, meta. He's been great in today's video. We used him well, got two wins with him, but we used Lorant this year as well, who was amazing. I love this Pokemon so much. Definitely a lot of fun to use, and definitely something different to use on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.